This is Twit. Windows right. 11, new features coming mm -hmm. next month. But like what? <laughs> oh, this, uh, like very few of them. Android, Android no, okay. <laughs> Android so came out today. I, I did see that. Yes. Yeah, yes. Android apps on Windows. Yes. But here's here's why this is interesting. Paul mm -hmm. has been talking about this, and I've chimed in over the various shows, saying at some point Microsoft's going to roll out new features for Windows 11 before the feature update comes at the end of the year, right? They're they're like queuing it up, and then today yeah. suddenly there's a blog post this morning, really early, that says, "Hey, next month here's a bunch of features we're going to roll out to the mainstream, not to insiders." Hey, like to I know, the I know this is um, not like me, but could I throw some cold water on this one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, they uh, they did, right? They did make this announcement. Right. Um, the thing is, yeah. what we're looking for is clarity, right? What we're looking for is some kind of definitive Come statement on. about what's going to happen. Why do you think why do you think miracles are going to happen this year? What why do you think something well, new is going to happen? Okay, but see what we got was the promise of a public preview of a very limited number of features in yes. February. End of sentence. There there is there's no continuation to this. There's no after a short period of testing with the public, we're going to release this to everyone who's running Windows 11. It's still possible that this these features won't hit Windows 11 for most users until that feature update arrives in, say, October or whatever it is in the later part really? of the year. Really? Right? Why do you think that? That's the opposite Be of what this says. No, it's okay. Well, pl well no, please do contradict me because okay. the thing that's happening in February is just a public preview. No, so right. you've got to oh, look good. at they they worded please. this so confusingly, so right. confusingly. Please, please, right? please prove okay. me wrong. A public preview of how you can use Android apps on Windows 11 is coming mm -hmm. to the mainstream. But the other things they list: taskbar improvements nope. with the call mute unmute, the weather on the taskbar, and the new Notepad, the new media player. Those aren't in preview. Those are the actual final. Those are happening. Okay, so yeah. maybe we should step through this yeah. real quick because. Obviously, Android up app support is huge. This is one of the, well, this was arguably the biggest thing they announced last June or whenever it was when they yeah. first announced Windows 11. Yeah. Didn't make it into the product, right? right. We've been testing right. it in the Windows Insider program. A very limited selection of apps, by the way, but whatever, it's there. Yes. Um, so now it's going to be in preview in February. Okay, so maybe it doesn't hit until next October. In some ways, you know, whatever. But if you look at the list of other things. I know. Off They're the small. top of my head, it's three features, small, yeah, and two apps, which right. are just updated through the store anyway. You know, Windows 11 yeah. shipped in October in what I would call right. a horribly incomplete state, should have launched with an entire new swath of apps, all updated, new UIs, you know, new features, whatever. Yeah. Didn't. And we're getting a new notepad. And what was the other one? <laughs> um, what media you know, player. The media play. Oh, the, the thing no one ever yeah. uses anyway. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, <laughs> the, the the new generation Groove app. Um, I mean, this is I, look. I, I'm excited that they're doing something. Like you said, I've been talking about this, thinking about this, yeah. writing about this right. from day one. In fact, yeah. one of the earliest articles I wrote about Windows 11 was the disappointment of us not getting all those things they promised back in June. Right. 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 Um, but this is a very small selection of things. It is. Don't you think? And yeah, I do. And I think the most confusing part of this whole thing is they don't say how you're going to get them, right? right. <laughs> like like that's people right. are saying, oh, so we're going to get one big giant cumulative update that's basically like a feature update on in February and it's going to have all this. I'm like, nope, I, I don't yeah. think that's how it's going to go. I think I some will be, like you're saying, the store for the two mm -hmm. apps, right? No pad media player. But then um, the what, the Android apps for Windows 11, are you going to get like a launcher from the store and then are you going to get the Windows subsystem for Android like built in yeah. somehow through yeah, a cumulative yeah. update or is it going to be a feature experience pack? Like I asked them today for clarification on this and I've heard right. zero. Right? Weird, they're so, usually so good about that. I know, so, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean look, one of the other things we've been talking a lot about about a lot over the past year or two is Microsoft's yeah. many avenues for updating the operating system, right? They've really significantly expanded it. I, I suppose yeah. in some ways, it doesn't really matter, I guess, how we get these things. I, It's almost certainly, the non-app things are almost certainly gonna come through Windows Update and be some form of cumulative update, right? Right, Or set you of cumulative assume. updates. I would, yeah, yes. I would assume, but I, you know, yep. I don't know, but that's how I assume. Based I on what we see in the too. Windows Insider program, yep. I think you're right about the Android app subsystem as well. Yeah. It's, it's basically going to be a 
store deliverable, you'll see a, an advertisement. It will you know, highlight that it's in preview or public preview or how, whatever the language is. And that's fine. I mean, it's fine. Right. It, it's it's yeah. going to be limited, probably, hopefully more apps than we see today, but yeah. available to people on the, what we'll call the stable channel, right? Right. So that, of all the features they listed, the very few, like mm -hmm. you said, um, this is the one to me that's very worrisome, the Android apps for Windows 11, <laughs> okay. right? Because, because yeah. like you're saying, right now, it's a very, very limited set of apps, like mostly games, right, that's available this right. way. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to read a really good story about what is there and what isn't, our friend Rich mm -hmm. Woods wrote something on XDA okay. developers, right? And he said, when they first announced this, there were 50 apps that were available through the, through Amazon and Microsoft's partnership for this. Now there's fewer than that. There's 40 something apps, right? Interesting. And they're okay. US only. It's only for US users. <laughs> again, here we go again with right. not supporting globally, right? For some reason. And how do you explain this to mainstream users who hear, oh, Android apps on Windows? So I can just get any Android app <coughs> on Windows, right? But that's not how yeah. it's gonna work, right? <laughs> Well, okay, but here's here's the good news, and and you know, like I said, I, I'm I'm not super impressed with the volume of things they're delivering, you know, in, in the yeah. near future to the public. That yeah. said, uh, a public preview version of the Android subsystem for Linux or whatever. Yeah. I'm sorry, the Android, <laughs> the Windows subsystem for Android. Windows subsystem for Android. Yep. <laughs> right, and and is they're yeah. going to do that in the right way because based based on what we've seen in the store, uh, based on what we've seen in the Insider program. In other words, it's a, an advertisement in the store, which most people aren't going to mm -hmm. see anyway. You have right. to opt into it. You look at it, you determine if you want it, and then you get it or you don't. Right, yep. and most people right. won't, and so that's fine. Like I'd rather have them do yep. it that way than just throw it into the operating Agreed. system. Right. right, and, make and have it just show up it. for everybody. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, and have like this ad saying, "Hey, get window, get Android apps on Windows 11," which I hope they're not going to do, but I, I'm not ruling anything out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, that sounds very <laughs> right? plausible. Right. <laughs> right. So I, mm -hmm. I just feel like this is something that people who hear about it assume it means any Android app you want on Windows, and that is so not what this is, right? And I feel like it's right. it's kind of almost like Windows um, 10 and S mode all over again. Like people ha are going to have an assumption, oh, Android apps on Windows, I can run every single Android app on Windows. And then you go and it's like, no, actually not. You can't, right? Yep. That's right. As Dwindle says, so, though, the good news is you'll be able to get Candy Crush finally on Windows. <laughs> I, thank goodness. Uh, right? It's about time. <laughs>